Okay, today is the final piece of the puzzle for Andrea's mother's moving in. We got electric the other day. Uh, her house has been conditioned. We got the water back on. All the sinks and everything are fine. I can't remember if in the other video if I said with the house not conditioned, with the water on and with it being cold, the sinks were dripping at the faucet. So it was going to have freezing weather, so we just... Um, we just shut the water off until we got electric. And then once we got electric, we let the house condition up for 24 hours. Then we turned the water back on and it's been fine since. Andre is standing near the two piles of, um, gravel that we got. So what we're going to do is, oh. Andre is auditioning now. Normally she's scared with the camera, but I guess she's finally getting over that. So what we're doing now is that's going to be a drive that's going to run from the back of her cabin over to the connection to our cabin where you see the little uh, dirt coming up onto our drive right there. That's about where it's going to connect and it's going to be about 12 feet wide. Then, let me flip around. Then they are extending our drive straight back to where it's pretty much flush with the front of the house now. We want to flush with the back of the house. And then if they got any left over, they're going to make a little, little gravel drive or a little gravel sidewalk thing for us right here. And... If you see under the stair right there, Andrea wanted to do potatoes, but she did not want to do them in the ground. So we got some fake whiskey barrels, and those are blocks we're going to put, because Andrea didn't want those on the ground. But that's for a different video. So what the theory is going to be, so let me go over here and show you. All right, what we have here is we have Andrea's mother's truck in the Motel 7. And so what we want to do is we're going to take the truck, put it back into no man's land back there, turn it around, and then we're going to take the Motel 7 with the truck and take it through the back here. And then the Motel 7 is going to sit at the back of the cabin. And that's the theory at least. We have at least 12 feet to play with at the skinniest. And so we should be able to get the uh, Motel 7 at the wheels is eight feet. So we have two feet on each side. All right, they've started their planning. So what they're doing now, they're just grabbing some stone and they're gonna do what the path is gonna be. So they're just gonna keep doing this for a while. This is not really, compared to moving a house, this is not really all that interesting. So I don't know how much of this I'm actually gonna videotape. If something interesting is gonna happen, then I'll do that, obviously. And if it's like every other thing, what they're gonna do is it's going to take them a fairly small amount of time to actually move the stone but then to grade it and everything is going to take forever uh, what i mean forever it might take them 30 40 minutes or maybe even less than that to move the stone but then it might take them a couple of hours in order to do the final grading <clears throat> so we'll let them have at it I'll check on them on, I'll check on them in a little bit and see how they're doing. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes since the last video. I am inside now, in case the tinting is a little different on the video. And it looks like they got the drive about done. So like I said, compared to moving a house, this is like chump change. And um, uh, Dish Network people are here because the house when it was in Dillon was 90 degrees from where it is now. So obviously the satellite 
needs to be, or the satellite dish needs to be moved. So, yeah, so I would say that portion is done, or just about done. Oh, he just took the scoop off. So, he's probably going to get, let's see if I can zoom in. All right, let's not zoom in. All right, it's probably going to get that attachment. Or maybe not. Oh, he's, there was something in the way. So, waiting here on bated breath. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so he's got that attachment now. Almost got it. Alright, I really want to zoom in more, but I can't because the window. Alright, it's hooked on a thing. Let me stop it, and then when he gets done, we'll start it again. Alright, that took a lot longer than it needed to because being a guy he did not want to get out of the vehicle and but then had to submit at some point so thought that was pretty funny so what he's doing now is of course this is a bad angle but this is a I'm gonna call it a smoother but as you can see It's smoothing the gravel out. And I was right, it is electrically driven. Because it looked like he was plugging something into it. And obviously he's plugging electric into the uh, front end loader. So what he's doing now, with all the vehicles and everything, our drive got tore up pretty good. By tore up, there are, you know, some gouges and stuff in the drive. Being that it's gravel, it's not the worst thing in the world. It could get smoothed out, so that's what he's doing right now. So... They still have to do at least one more dump truck load, so I don't know why he's doing that on our drive right now. Needs to concentrate on their drive, but it's this stuff that's going to take the long time because, you know, just flattening it out, that's the easy part. Getting it to make it actually look good, that's more time consuming. So, yeah, to get what he's done already which was about a hundred feet of drive that watched the mullen which was a hundred feet of drive there about 12 feet wide that took less than 30 minutes to do and so doing this stuff is probably going to take longer so we'll check in on him in a little bit okay here's our load that we're going to have So by my calculations, about two thirds of the total gravel is going on uh, our mother-in-law's driveway, or Andre, Andre's mother's driveway, and one third is going to ours. So that's our load right there. And every time it does that, it scares the crap out of me. And it was funny earlier when the dump trucks were dumping the stuff off one of our neighbor that has a business over there was talking with them so I guess they're gonna dump a load of gravel for him so we'll let them start it out and then 
we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm at our side door now, and they are working on our drive. There's this little smoother thing now. We can get a better angle of it. So yeah, he just takes it, drags it across the ground, and then it smooths the drive out. So while he's doing that, okay, so this is what's left of this pile here. So there's one more load that's supposed to come, and that should finish all of this out. Then um, I'll have to see if uh, how the uh, how it's happening over at Andrea's mother's house. All right, our drive is pretty much about done. There's a little spot right there for our, our little sidewalk thing. And the last load just came, so he's scooping it up. He didn't want to take the dump truck all the way back there because one, the dump truck would have to, a backup nightmare. And two, this is a nice clean drive and he didn't want the dump truck messing it up. So, yeah, so now he just gets to do that. So it's, they started around eight o'clock. I think it's about 9.30ish now. So yeah, they'll, they'll be done probably about 30, maybe 40 minutes. So when they get about done, I'll come back. Okay, the drive is done. As you can see, we already christened it a little bit. It's supposed to rain here the next few days, as you can see from the nice clouds we got up there. And so we are not going to be parking on this for right now so we can uh, have the gravel settle a little bit and then once it's settled then we'll move to motel 7 and put it in its final position i already drove through that area this morning so we can definitely get through there uh, i have about two feet of clearance on either side at the narrowest point so it should be good I only wanted this to be 12 feet wide. They ended up making it a little wider. So worst case scenario, if somebody has people that they want to come over, we have plenty of artificial parking around here. Then while they were here, they went ahead and smoothed out our area some. And you can see there's a, one of the gravel loads was right here. So that's why this all looks new. But most of this was our original drive, so we're parking on our original drive until after the rain because back here is the new spot that they did. And so all this is brand new right here, which is really good. And so now we can actually park back here and so, as you can see, Andrea's come through with the tires here to flatten that out a little bit. And then they had a little bit left over, so they made us a little uh, sidewalk right here. So, yeah, I'm going to call this a success. And so, hopefully, within a week or so, if not earlier, we'll get the Motel 7 moved to where it's supposed to be. And then this is actually going to be done. The only thing we're going to do before we get grass in is uh, we have a friend of ours that has a dump truck. And he has a friend of his that has a bunch of dirt. So we're going to uh, get a load of dirt maybe Saturday if it's not raining too bad. And we're going to dump the dirt about where the center of the camera is right there. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, way to really move the dirt efficiently because we're gonna put it all over the place. So we're gonna have to clean the yard cart out and we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, which I'm not really looking forward to that, but it is what it is. It's a one-time thing. That yard cart can theoretically hold over a thousand pounds. So I figure we just fill it up with dirt then I attach it to the back of the 
garden tractor and then we just move it around and then the yard cart has a function on it that you can actually dump it so I'll probably do video on that uh, at least to show how that works so yeah driveway is done it took them they started a little after 8 30 and they were out of here by about 10 30 10 45 so yeah it didn't take them long at all and i would say they waited at least a half hour or so because they had to go get more gravel so yeah it took them only a couple hours then the guy said that <laughs> when he got done here he has to go up to dillon area which is where the cabin used to be up in that county and if you see where the trees are there let me pan around and you see where the tower is right there he says he has to do a drive today that's about that long he said it's between uh a quarter and a half a mile long so i told him that our drive was just chump change and he said yes <laughs> so i thought our drive was pretty good but a quarter half a mile drive is uh, nothing to sneeze at so that should be it this might be combined with the video with the electric or it might not i'll just have to see so it'd either be one video or two so we shall see